Rebecca, thank you so much for your talk in The Voice today. So immensely inspiring. Uh, one question that really came to mind was what surprised you most about what The Voice can predict? So I started studying The Voice about six years ago when I arrived at the Media Lab. And that's also when I met uh, Max Little, who is uh, the researcher who did all of this amazing work on Parkinson mm -hmm. and on uh, the turbulences and non-linearities non of The Voice. And that was... that was really amazing and that I think was that's one of the things that really drove me into this research mm -hmm. yeah that's amazing another question to think about is what is the biggest message that you want your audience to receive from your talk um, I think this idea of not taking it for granted mm -hmm. that um, so the voice is really how we how we interact with each other and and it's this medium that is always there that we don't think about. And when we start thinking about it, we actually realize that we are all a bit self-conscious and we all don't like it. Mm -hmm. But what does that mean? If this medium that enable me to talk to you, I don't like it. You know, what does that mean about the, how healthy is the relationship we can build? And it's also linked with a message that to really be able to appreciate someone else, you have to appreciate yourself. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the voice might be a tool or a key to, to get, to get um, in a tangible way to this to this learning mm -hmm. amazing and your voice each person's voice is so personal and personal to them do you have any stories that you found in your vocal studies about someone's personal voice or personal voice loss um, yeah actually I have a personal story about that so I've been studying the voice for a while and last year my father who is a professor and researcher in, in French literature in France, um, had a, a stroke, a very severe left brain stroke, and lost the area of the brain that controlled language. Mm -hmm. So he basically lost language. And uh, now it's been a year, he did amazing progress, so he's much better. But mm -hmm. for a while I was faced with that fact that I have so much expertise on the voice. Mm -hmm. But then when something like this happened, and when you're faced with someone who can understand everything you say, but who can't answer back in words. Mm -hmm. So he lost language, he lost verbal, but he didn't lose the vocal. Mm -hmm. So that without words, we were still completely able to understand each other. Mm -hmm. So somehow that, that really also gave me a, a, a sense of, um, of meaning in the idea of studying the voice without the words. Because the mm -hmm. words are so often studied in, in terms of language instead of you know what computers can do now in mm -hmm. in language recognition but in studying the w the voice without the words right. i think was really meaningful for me fantastic thank you so much for spreading your ideas <laughs> thank you thank you very much thank you